to remove the drum, you need to remove this screw. It is a torque screw, and you need a T30 screw bit to remove this. Before you try to loosen the screw, use the handbrake. Stop this uh, rotating. I have a broken it uh, loose. So just uh, remove it with the screw bit. You don't need to have this screw very tight. So this is the screw removed. After the screw removed, remember to release the handbrake before you're trying to remove the drum. If the drum cannot be removed easily, uh, you can use a hammer or small hammer. Just lightly knock. Okay now, so I can use a two hand to remove the disc. Now we have the drum removed. So when you try uh, to remove it, you can just uh, shake and turn, and shake and turn. It uh, will uh, get off, uh, not difficult. Dry cleaning. I just uh, cleaned uh, the drum inside, outside. Uh, I didn't use anything, just the dry. And I used the screwdriver and the brush just to get the uh, loose rust and uh, the uh, dust out. I think it should be okay. Okay, before I remove anything, just try to uh, remember. And here's the uh, cable, handbrake cable. And get in from there. Can see that one that the cable and it's get to this uh this uh lever so you can see inside the uh, the zinc coated one and there's a spring definitely here and you need to unhook and here seems to be a spring and there there is a spring it seems like this spring started from there and finished from there and what about this so where we're find out there's another spring here and there's a spring here and this is a get through to the other other end other end here so you can see yeah that so uh, so we will try to uh, remove this and remove this so I just uh, remove the top and the bottom springs these springs very strong, very hard, difficult to remove. And I tried a small plier, and uh, it's not working. And then I used the uh, screwdriver. I used the screwdriver just to try to press, uh, uh, where is the hole here? The hole is here. I just try to push it uh, out here. And for the bottom here, I just uh, put the screwdriver against this uh, hub and uh, put it in there and I just uh, try to lift that way and uh, then it uh, was out. So both the top and the bottom spring removed. And then next we need to uh, remove this uh, push down washer and push down washer and there's the spring, there's the pin, the pin will get out from the back of the back plate. So we're going to uh, push this in and get it out. I think you just uh, with one hand to press the back and uh, use a, uh, a plier, just uh, hold this and push it in and twist 90 degree and the washer will be out, the spring will be out, the pin will go out from the back. So look at here, I have uh, removed the washer, uh, spring, and the pin. So that the pin gets through from the back plate. And you see the profile of the pin. So there are, the, there are the two two ears, or whatever you call it. And push this back, and then get the brake shoes in, and then put this spring, and finally the washer, see the washer, that shape. So that uh, you push the spring, get in that uh, orientation and then turn the washer 90 degree it will be held by this 
and uh, uh, this is how the breaker pin spring and the push down washer work after we remove the spring uh, top or bottom and the hold down pin I think now it, we should be able to remove so I think it's still connected with the uh, hand brake cable so what about this yeah so we can remove this part so this is the front and with the self adjusting uh, star wheel there we also have the other half so this half I think is nearly done just connected uh, with the brake cable so we're going to release the brake cable see the bottom there that's the brake cable so we had the brake cable we're going to uh, release it and then this part uh, can be removed so just uh, take the shoes off from there and turn it around you can have a clear view of the hand brake cable just the clip there this is a spring you see it's holding the the end over there and also you can see we have a spring here the spring hold this half of the self adjustment uh, mechanism to this shoes and this the other half i think is held by a another yeah not like spring but uh, i think we can still call it a spring this is uh, holding uh, this half the star view if you have a clear look of this star view the star view will automatically uh, adjust the brake and now we can unhook the hand brake cable from this shoe so now we have the cable detached i just use this uh, this uh, player and holding this end and a pull and well holding this part and it's just off relatively easy to do okay we have got uh, everything disassembled and i think uh, i'm going to do a dry cleaning and the back plate and all the parts here now i have uh, just to use the uh, plastic brush wire brush mostly the plastic brush and i clean the back plate you can see now it looks much better and i clean everything and i also i remove the this is spring from there because I want to wire brush this area. This area, and I think I will get some uh, copper grease over here just to help them uh, a little bit. And the other side should be okay. I don't need to remove. I think that there's no movement on that side. Let me just uh, uh, clean the star wheel uh, with uh, WD-40 and then dry it up. And uh, that's what I'm going to do before reassemble. Applying some copper grease to some area, to some area. And you can see I applied a very thin layer here, 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 and bottom there. So we got this uh, area, I think this is where contact with the brick shoes, just a very thin layer. And I'll also put some copper grease, very thin layer here, here, so that when the handbrake uh, lever moves, it will help a little bit. So this is uh, all I have done, and then I can start uh, resemble. Now I have put uh, this half of the uh, self-adjuster uh, to the drum. I think uh, that should be the right position and everything ready I just put them back in the reversing order connect the cable to this half of the shoes and put it on and this half put the hold down pin on and uh, then the top and the bottom spring on and that the in the reversing order I'm going to do that I have just uh, reassembled uh, everything back and uh, it's not easy 
and uh, for the for the top one I just uh, get these uh, wheel bolts into there and uh, use that as a uh, pivot point and I just uh, use this to just uh, help uh, this uh, spring get into uh, the hole and for this uh, bottom one here and I use the smaller screwdriver here I get the spring in, get the into the hole and just uh, th like this way get the end of the spring into uh, that hole so that's uh, overall uh, reassembled another thing to remember is that uh, it's much easier to get this uh, top spring back if you adjust uh, the star wheel to this uh, far right to close to this end and then it's much easier to put this in and after that you can just uh, adjust uh, uh, this uh, star wheel back by holding a little bit back over that spring and just uh, just at least uh, touch this uh, and then you may uh, adjust uh, just uh, let the drum a little bit of resistance uh, of course it is self adjusting but if you are just uh, just uh, make the drum uh, only nearly touch the shoe then that would be best so before I put the drum back I just use a brand new wire brush and some uh, kitchen towel to clean this friction material and also the, the drum inside I use this uh, brand new wire brush and some chicken towel this uh, self adjuster star wheel I just uh, adjust it back so that I nearly uh, flash with this half of the self adjuster so remember there is the L shaped thing there and it should be in this uh, orientation and that push back that another spring so it should be like this now I'm ready to put the drum on after put the drums on just the, the torque the screw uh, I think a hand tight uh, is fine so that's how to uh, reassemble the brick drums <laughs>